Hello everybody, I'm Sharp and Blade and today I have my top five knives within the price range of $100 to $200 and I'm going to find the knife of the year in that price range, price range as well. So without any further ado, let's get into the knives. Now I've got one honorable mention. Um, this is because it's such a great value is the Real Steel G-Frame from White Mountain Knives. It's an exclusive to White Mountain Knives and it was $110 and it has a titanium handle with S35BN blade steel. So it's an excellent value so I had to include it in this video. Great action great aesthetics very solid knife. Alright, now into the actual list. So, first up, this knife just barely made it in here. It's $199 USD, so it just barely made it into the... Uh, oh yeah, by the way, this is $100 to $200 USD. Um, just barely made it on this list. This is the Tactile Knife Company Bexar. If I can hold it. There we go. <laughs> this is a fantastic slip joint. This is one of my favorite slip joints. It's such a great knife to use. Even though it doesn't lock, I still would actually carry this as my primary knife. It is such a great little user. Um, it's not something you want to use really hard. <laughs> but for me, this does the job very best. Uh, it has excellent um, sorry here, cover my face. It's an excellent little quick point looking little blade. Super slicey. Very thin. The whole thing is very thin. It's a very thin knife. Uh, and it has a nice walk and talk. But let's see if we can get it to zoom in a little bit on here so you can see some of that milling. Yeah, you can kind of see it. That beautiful tactile milling. Looks fantastic. You can kind of see it. Doesn't do it justice in the video, but you can kind of see it. Excellent knife. That's number five on the list. Next up is the EWC from MBK. <laughs> it's the Everywhere Carry from Monterey Bay Knives. This is a fantastic knife. Oh, I forgot to mention on the Bexar, it's 20 CV blade steel and titanium uh, handles, scales. And on this, it's M390 on the blade and titanium scales, uh, pocket clip. Focus on my face again, pocket clip and backspacer. Now, I must say that now that I finally have a camera <laughs> that will zoom in and focus well enough, hopefully, <laughs> the milling that they do, don't focus on my hands, focus on the milling that they do on that pocket clip is fantastic. I love their pocket clips. They use the same pocket clip on all their knives, but it's such, normally I would kind of get bored of that, but this is such a nice pocket clip that I don't mind it so much. The reason why this is number four over top of the Bexar it's because it's much more fun to fidget with. And that fidget factor definitely ups it for me. But uh, yeah, great little knife. Um, definitely deserves to be in number four. You're gonna see more in Monterey Bay Nice in the next video for sure. <laughs> um, this is just the cheapest one that I have that fits in this category. The next one, the next video is going to have more. But uh, next up, number three is the Quaken from Boker. This knife is around $130 USD. Uh, it blew me away. As soon as I saw it, I fell in love with how it looks. I'm not sure if this is a new design for 2021. Um, I'm, I know the Bexar is. Not 100% sure about the EWC. I don't think it is. 
but I don't have very many knives <laughs> in this price range. So, you know, I'm going to include some older models here. But the, uh, I'm, so I'm not sure if this one is an older model or not, but it's just too nice not to put on the list if it is from last year or another year. Uh, D2 blade steel, so not like super amazing blade steel for the price, but everything else about it is spectacular. The carbon fiber looks awesome. It's kind of like a marbled shred kind of a look. Uh, they did really nice milling on the titanium on the lock side. Don't focus on my mouth. <laughs> focus on this. Um, is it going to pick up? Here, let me let me see here. Whoa. I'm sure there's a setting on here that will show things better, but I haven't found it yet. You can kind of make out lines on there a little bit. It's really nice milling that they did on this, and the action is spectacular. So nice, so snappy. Now, I almost passed up on this knife. I didn't really, don't focus on me, focus on the knife. I really, <laughs> I really liked the look of it, but it was a boker, so I almost passed up on it, but I'm glad I got it because the fit and finish is perfect on this. It's a fantastic knife. I wish that it had a little bit better blade steel. You know, I'll charge an extra 20 bucks and throw, I don't know, S30V if you want to on there, but um, you know, something a little bit for the price. I think they should have something a little better than D2, but whatever. <laughs> That's number three. Now, number two. This is kind of a placeholder. Uh, kind of like in the last video, number two was a placeholder. <laughs> but like damn designs, Finch knives have put out consistent quality pieces. So, without any further ado, we're looking at the Finch Devil's Finger. Now, this isn't my favorite Finch that I have, but this one's from this year, so I've, I've got to include this one. <laughs> my favorite Finch would be the, the uh, Holiday, but yeah, this one's also a really nice knife. Uh, it's got micarta scales, 154cm blade steel. Um, a lot of Finch knives, well most of them, like 99.9% .9 of their knives fill, fit inside that $100 to $200 price range. They have some that are cheaper, or well, one that's cheaper, the Cimarron, but the rest of them are all a little more expensive. So, you look at this knife and you say, that's awesome. What other knives do they have? They have all kinds of other knives, but they're all different. The designs are all different. They have, they put so much heart and soul into their designs. I made a whole video about pinch knives, so I'm not going to get into it too much here, but I just appreciate so the work that they put into their knives so much. Uh, they do such a great job, and their customer service is top notch. So, they definitely deserve number two. But, in number one, is a knife that was up for pre-order earlier this year. And it took a surprisingly long time to sell it out the pre-order. <laughs> in fact, even after the pre-order was done, there's still some left over. I don't know why it took so long to sell out. Uh, to me, it's an amazing looking knife um, with awesome materials and a rock solid price. It was 175 if I'm not mistaken, for this knife. And it's none other than the Forest from Dylan Mallory. An excellent little knife. Not even a little knife. It's an excellent knife. <laughs> this is such a nice knife. The action is great. Fit and finish is great. The ergos are great. Nice and slicey. You know, decently thin blade stock, but not too thin. It obliterates cardboard and it feels excellent in the hand while cutting. It has such a nice action. And it's such a great looking design that, uh, yeah, it's just awesome. Uh, this is, he's done, uh, Dylan Mallory has put out many, many, many designs, but this is the first knife that he has made himself. Well, not himself, he OEM'd it. <laughs> but you know what I mean. Uh, 
and I can't wait to see what else he comes up with. Now, this is a lim was this was a limited run. Uh, there's 200 of them made in S35VN and uh, carbon fiber, but he's going to be releasing more and different. He's not going to release these again, but he's going to release the forest in other configurations. So you haven't missed out yet. So make sure you grab the next one. <laughs> Is, you know, uh, be a little quicker on the uptake of the next run that he does because this is an awesome knife. I, I imagine people will be because, um, you know, I don't know why if people just don't like pre-orders or what. But, uh, yeah, they just didn't really buy this super quick. But, yeah, this knife definitely deserves to be number one in this price category to me. So, congratulations, Dylan Mallory. Congratulations, Forrest. You have won Knife of the Year in the category of $100 to $200 knife. <laughs> but uh, yeah, thank you so much for tuning in. Um, congratulations to everyone that made it on the list. And thanks for watching. Take care.